In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made the Inkling and Octoling voices from Splatoon, found in my original song, Squid Rave. There are two voices to demonstrate here that was originally recorded for my Twitch stream I did last week. Let's not waste any more time and get right to it. So you can see right here, we have a channel here uh, called Squid Sing. Um, right, so I'll just show you what the squid sounds, the squid voice sounds like by itself. And so, so let's kind of talk about this for a second. So there's a lot of different like layers of effects going on. The first one, uh, that's very, uh, prominent, right? So this is actually, if we take off all of the effects, this is actually the, the vocal source. Turn this off. Uh -huh. Right, I took this this loop right here from some random pack, and I did a lot of processing to it. Um, I think the original source might even be this weird thing from uh, if I go show a browser. Is it this? Right, it's just a random like vocal thing I made. What program are you using right now? I'm using Ableton Live. Um. Actually, this isn't even the original original source, but th that 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 is a source of like like I chopped up a vocal like sample and then and then export it to make this longer file, right? But so let's kind of go through the effects. So the first thing I need to do with that sample is lower the is actually raise the pitch in a very specific way, and so we do that. Um, let me ungroup. Actually, I'm gonna ungroup this. Uh, we'll ungroup. And so let's go through like what the main sauces are. So I'm going to just turn off every effect here um, to demonstrate. There's a lot of effects on this because I had to kind of process it to, to not only the, the, the struggle with doing a lot of these kind of special process vocals is that not only do you need to sound like the voice in this very characterized way, but then you got to make it mixed good. And that's the hardest part, I think. Um, so the first thing I have here is this thing called pitch wheel. Um, which is a plugin that can, oh, is it not showing it? Here it is. Yeah, this is pitch wheel. So pitch wheel will, can, can do a lot of formants and uh, literal pitch changing, right? So by turning this pitch wheel on, we hear this now. Right? So you can tell already with the, with this pitch wheel effect on how different this, like how it's already close to the, the squid voice. It's pretty close. And so what I did is I, in this left value right here, um, you can see here that I'm raising it by 12 semitones. Um, that, that is one octave. And uh, over here, I'm also raising it by 12 uh, formants, 12 like half step formants essentially. And that's what creates that effect. And you can really kind of dial in exactly what you'd want your sauce to be, right? So if I wanted to get really weird, You can get some really cool vocal sounds this way. Right, but so that's our where we're starting off at, at the baseline of like, what is the found, like, if we're making, if we're making a good sauce in the kitchen, this is like the base of our sauce. Like I got, this is the oil, this is the garlic and the onion, like we're making the body of the sauce right here. This is very important. The next important thing is kind of uh, with this, because I'm referencing the Splatoon voices, so I use that as kind of a place of like, okay, how do I A, B, like having sounds? We're making sauce and food. We sure are. We sure are, man. And so what I noticed with, with the Splatoon voices is that they don't have actually, they're not that bright. They're actually pretty filtered out. And a consequence, uh, <laughs> come for the tunes, stay for the food analogies. <laughs> come for the tunes, stay for the foods. Um... So, so what you notice immediately is that when I process the vocals to be higher, it's much brighter and almost a little too bright for my taste, especially if you want like that warmer squid sound. So I had to turn on this EQ to kind of, uh, just kind of cut a lot of the high frequencies. You can tell how much softer it is in the high end, right? Versus. And, and a lot of people would say, oh, that sounds kind of, some people would say who are music producers would be like, that sounds kind of phasey. It doesn't sound right. But in this context, I actually want the voice to be a little phasey because that's what creates that kind of synthetic -y squid sound that, that the uh, Splatoon is derivative of in that voice. Now let's go to the kind of another important sauce here. 
that kind of makes the squid voice and vibrato come to life. And that is a thing called auto filter. And most plugins, um, by the way, you can do this in any software program. This is not just an Ableton Live exclusive thing. Um, but auto filter is the main, I think is kind of the, if the pitch wheel effect is the body, the, the, the auto filter is like, that's like, like, like the meat, like not the meat, more like, like the spices. This is the spice part. Um, cause here with auto filter on that's what creates the vibrato effect. You can see this automation right here. This is controlling this. These values are controlling how much vibrato I want in that squid voice. This is really, really important because there are, because like, like a normal human voice, right? We don't always want, uh, right? We want some kind of normal sound and then we want that, right? You want a little bit of both, <laughs> but that's the idea. So, so with this auto filter, it's, it's at one, it's at one certain pace. Yeah, let's go Dino, I guess. But you, you get what I'm saying, right? And I can control different values if I want to. Like, I, I'm controlling this thing called an envelope on the bottom left, as you can see. Uh, down here. Um, but normally, like, that's not the result I want. But if I want, I can really adjust values of how much of a broad I want. <laughs> my, my care. Well, that was a song to walk in on. It sure is. <laughs> how you doing, Rob? What's going on? Um, and you can tell too with the auto filter, like you need to kind of find a sweet spot of how much you want that filter to vibrato back and forth. Because if you go too high in the filter value down here, um, you're not really going to get much of a vibrato effect. But if I go too low, you it's it's going to cut out the sound. So you have to really find that sweet spot. So, so that pitch effect and this uh, filter vibrato effect, that is like like the main target sounds. Now everything else is like real, just like kind of parsley detail, like ultra detail flavor, right? Like I have a thing called over down here called uh, uh, bit reduction or bit crush. This is just to give a tiny bit of like, of like distortion detail to make it feel, um, I don't know if I write the word for it, but in Splatoon, it's not like a clean sound. It's a it's a little bit, tiny bit lo-fi sounding. And it's very subtle, but you can feel it, right? Yeah, so so this effect right here, it's called Bit Crusher. It'd be known as Bit Crusher or Bit Reduction in Ableton. This is very important, or Redux in Ableton, actually, it's what it's called. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off. Right? And I turn it back on. It just has a little bit of like like a like almost like, like a chip tune kind of sparkle to it. It's very subtle, um, unless you unless you you know what this sounds like. Um, and it's it's a little detail that I think went a long way. It's also kind of pain in the ass to mix with. Um, another important sauce that I've been doing a lot more with all my sound design, um, kind of like almost like I would consider like like a, like a, like, a, like a all general squid effect, like. Like if you're getting that like that badia like you know seasoning you put in all your meats the badia the badia whatever it's called right you want that kind of like that that poultry seasoning that's what this frequency shifter effect is but it, for squid music because this what I do here uh, by turning this frequency shifter on not not badia it's it's like uh, badia I think it's called it's like some like like kind of like Mediterranean Caribbean like uh, Hispanic spice it's really good it's very subtle. Bit reduction, the coolest sound, most obnoxious effect of the mix. I know, it's so obnoxious, Rob. Uh, but frequency shifter is the shit. So, this is a kind of a little bit of an advanced thing, but it creates this, uh, badia. Yeah, exactly. I got the first time. So, frequency shifter is the shit. Because it creates this, uh, uh, it creates what is called a phasing effect. And I'm doing that by having my dry wet down here being 50%, and having the fine of it. Uh, being ever so slightly detuned to the left or to the right, to be fair. Um, and it creates this effect that you're hearing. And you're like, I don't really hear a difference possibly. For some of you, you might hear a difference, but for me, there's this clear kind of like kind of phasey, kind of wavy sound. It's like, it's like if the voice is like kind of like, like moving. 
And so what's going on here with this frequency shifter is that imagine if imagine if there's two voices and this is a kind of like abstract math shit. So if this is two. Is this, if this is going over your head, I, I apologize. But basically, imagine if there is two two of the exact same sounds playing at the same time. If you combine them together and add them, the void the sound becomes louder, right? But if you slightly adjust the sound to not be exactly the same position, you create phasing. And phasing is what creates this, this really interesting characteristic where the sound kind of like moves, almost like kind of like a wavy effect. Perjury, how you doing? Um, that is a very important sound in this process that makes a squid sound a little more, or any sound, a little more synthetic, a little more like, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? So I'll show you again. This is this is with the sound on. This is with it off. You, it's very subtle, but it, it it's a detail that goes a long way when you're processing that voice. It's just subtle enough. And and by the way, these values ha these these values are pretty specific and important because if I make my fine really uh, intense, it's gonna be very noticeable. Which, by the way, is a really cool sound if you're doing sound design. It's a really like, frequency shifter is really really cool. I definitely recommend uh, anyone who's in music production to experiment with this effect because it, you can get a lot of great sound design this way. But you can tell immediately, like yeah, like just by even adjusting the fine, like you think like 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 fine the fine value is like a few hertz. It's not a lot of value, but that hurts amount can make so much of a unique difference. Yeah, the fine is really important. So just by ever so slightly. If you listen to a lot of like rhythm or dubstep or a lot of music that has sound design in the forefront, at some point in time, there's gonna be some, like a lot of sounds use some phasing effect. And this is, this is how a lot of people do it. Right, so that is kind of, at this point, that is the bulk of the sound. Um, I also later on do a little bit more adjusting, but that's like, when, when we hear, like, that is the, by and large, the squid sound. Uh, things like Pro MB, um, like Pro MB uh, down here, uh, the EQ, that's just mixing details, right? I don't know what this pitch wheel's for, actually. What did I do with this pitch wheel? What is this for? Oh, now I know I did. Uh, okay, so... Like again, another detail of this voice is that I actually want to like I thought that this voice by itself, it's fine, it's a good sound, but I felt like it wasn't it didn't have enough body to it. It's very it's a kind of on the high end and not as much on the low end. And so what I did was I actually layered in, and it's not probably not the best way of going about it, but fuck it. Um, I used another pitch wheel, and you can see that I lowered it by twelve semitones, a whole octave. And the trick is. Um, you think, James, well, you added 12 earlier, and now we're doing minus 12 now. Why did you do that? That would cancel out. No, because we're going to do uh, with this mix value. This mix value over here is at about 25%. And so what it means is that we're only going to make 25% of my sound to have that lower squid voice. Does that make sense? Um, Just this mix value is basically what creates that effect. So if you, right, if you, if I turn this on right now with this, uh, this octave below effect. <laughs> It has body. It has a little bit more of a low end. And, and once again, if I turn this off, and both are currently fine. And then last but not least, I actually put in a little bit of auto tune because I want the squid sound to be a little bit more robotic. It's a very subtle effect. Very subtle auto tune. Just, just, just to get a little more on pitch because you know, with all these effects, all this processing, the 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 tuning of the voice is gonna be all over the place, and so just a little bit of auto tune can go a long way, just to kind of clean up kind of like the weird like pitches. Um, but that is the there are those two sounds. That is the first one. There's a lot of detail that went into that specific, very Splatoon derivative sound. 
No, everything needs to be loud. Clip everything. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> um, the other one is this kind of a coder effect. This one right here. Which you do hear also in Splatoon as well. That... Right? Which, by the way, if we look into this thing, uh, has the same exact kind of uh, chain of effects. I actually didn't have that one on. Interesting. We'll turn that off. Um, but so if I go here and turn all the effects off, the source of the sound is actually quite similar to the the other squid sound. <laughs> right, that bah, right. I just took that little chop up part, and I I actually um, I took that chopping of the sound, and then I went through a vocoder. Now, a vocoder is a kind of a fancy vocal effect that you hear in a lot of music in general, but you may not realize it. A vocoder basically takes it basically recontextualizes. It takes the sound of a voice. I have to say it this way: it takes the sound of a voice and recontextualizes it, where you can apply different pitch values to that voice. So this original sample is not the melody I went with. It's but right. But I want the vote. I want the melody to go ba ba da right. Um, one second with this effect. Right. That that is what a vocoder does. And it's a really great. I love using vocoders in many, many different ways. Um, as I do more music streams, I will show you how much I use vocoders in pretty much everywhere in my music because I think it's just such an important detail. Right. So a vocoder is a very fantastic effect. Um, I'm using Isotope's uh, vocal synth right here, which is just a specific kind of vocoder. But pretty much every plug, every program in the universe has a vocoder effect. All right, we're going Weebio. Let's go. God damn it. Hi, YouTube. How are you? But so, uh, Vocal Synth is a great effect, uh, or it's a great plug vo plugin for vocoders because there's a lot in settings and presets and different values you can change. I won't go into that sauce right now, but basically, with this, you can create um, a nice uh, kind of robotic y kind of synthy effect. Right, and so at this point onward, like that, that is the the again, like this is the foundation, the the rue, the body of the sound that kind of gets it to like like seventy percent squid, and so like the like the first voice, we're just kind of cutting out the high end to uh, kind of give it a little bit warmer, a little softer. Especially with vocoders, vocoders are a pain in the ass to mix. They're a real pain in the ass, but if you can get to mix well, it's great. Um, so that's why I have to cough a lot of the high end. Do and once again, just like with the previous squid sound, we're using auto filter. Any kind of filter effect will create that squid effect. And there you go. Like that is like, that's the sound. That's pretty close to Splatoon as, as far as I can gather. If someone can make it better, I would love to see it because it's like pretty much like, you know, it's pretty on point. I have to say it to myself. So yeah, that's the sauce right there. Yeah, it took, took me about a few days to kind of really nail it, but that's where I got. And so. Once again, like the other previous sound, we have the bit crush effect. We have the frequency shifter, right? And it's really up to you. If you want, if you want to make this sound yourself, it's really up to you. You can really go crazy and explore all the different characteristics or different styles you may want to flavor this thing. And that's 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 production, baby. You can do a lot of different things.